you to the impact lecture series of Institutions Innovation Council, IIC. And under this series, the first lecture is on emerging trends in IPR regime. Prior to the beginning of the lecture, let me introduce you to our eminent guest, Ms. Chavli Pika from Amda Pika, to equip his students with the knowledge on the topic of the today's lecture. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, Rishal. I just uh, share my screen. Is the screen visible? Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Yeah. Is it visible in full screen? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a really uh, great pleasure to have a session with you all on this, uh, you know, this wonderful topic about emerging trends in IPR. So, when you talk about, you know, I'll, I'll what uh, the structure of the session would be. First, we'll talk about, you know, a little bit about what is innovation, what is IPR, the trends in IPR, and the types of IPR. So, this is how we will leave today's session. So beginning with what is innovation? The ex WIPO Director General Francis Gore has given a beautiful definition of innovation. We are, as I understand that uh, I was uh, speaking to the coordinator, he said that they will be uh, you know former students and and computer applications students. So speaking in their you know, in any country, be it a developing nation or a developing country, has become the center of the economic strategy. Uh, like you are conducting this event under the Ministry of Education. So all the ministries, be it Ministry of Education, Commerce, or, or, or HRD, all of the universities, the schools, to go ahead with innovation. So what is so important? And with innovation and why the universities like yours are doing your studies program because this is of excellence. Uh, the innovation is the new technology. Uh, Talking about universities, you know, they are the factories of all Now the uh, in terms of the talk about economics. So the focus is that uh, the universities, they can add value to the innovation, they can innovate and they can in turn add value to the economic sector of the country. So be it India or any, any other nation, the innovation is a grassroots labor law that can help in the growth of the economy. Okay. So uh, when we say, okay fine, this is innovation, why the government is focusing so much on innovation and you being the former students, uh, the economic students came, you know, at the, at the root of this uh, thing. So uh, the next question is, okay fine, innovation is focused, now what is, what is it? Okay, so innovation is nothing, you get an idea, you combine it with your actions and what come out of it is innovation. That is your creativity. Okay. So as you see in that photo, okay, uh, when you combine your concept, put it into the real world, what comes out is the innovation. Okay. Now when we talk to, you know, this entire process, how it works. You get an idea, you get an inspiration, you start thinking about it. Okay. You brainstorm with your colleagues. You design a research on the subject matter and again you get the new idea. Again you start thinking and brainstorming. So this is how the cycle keeps on evolving. Okay. It is not like aapko ek idea aya, intellectual property It can, you know, lead to different types of intellectual property. So, 
Now, as I've introduced you to the term now, intellectual property. Just a brief, uh, like what it is. It is something that is coming out of human intellect. Okay. The uh, common notion is a product of mind. This is the property, land property, hoti hai, that is a you know a product of money. But intellectual property is a product of mind. How you can make intellectual property? You have you get an idea, you use your intellect, your brain, you put in the resources of your university, the laboratories, the experiment areas, and your hard work. What comes out is the intellectual property. Now, uh, intellectual property is present all around us. You look around your house or your room in the university, coffee maker, smartphone, computer, the clothes, everything is an intellectual property. Okay, now in this session I will tell you how. So, uh, like so before you know going into the depth about it, you should understand that what is the significance of intellectual property. You, once you get an intellectual property, you protect it for your own good. You exclude others from using it, okay? And then you can either utilize it, commercialize it, okay? You can commercialize it in the industry and earn profit out of it. So, uh, commercialization of intellectual property is a new phenomenon, okay? Now it is just not about for the name's sake you take an intellectual property in your name. But it's important to, you know, commercialize it. Considering from, speaking from the point of perspective of the intellectual property office, there are certain checks and balances that the office looks into while giving any type of intellectual property. Basically, it is a balance between, you know, the public interest and the inventor's monopoly. So the, uh, the office is a custodian of this act, okay? So whenever a new drug comes in the market, office has to consider what would be the impact of it to the normal public, okay? And what is the incentive that has to be given to the inventor for making that drug? So there's a very, you know, a very balancing uh, that is needed in this thing. And that is why uh, often intellectual property is not, you know, just black and white. Uh, there is also balancing between, you know, uh, when you talk about economic growth, a balance system is needed where the inventor and the public, somehow there is a balance. If you start, uh, you know, taking patent over everything that is of daily use, okay, then uh, you might see that in future everything will become so expensive that the common man will not be able to buy it. Okay, so somewhere uh, there's a balance that has to be achieved in any economy. Okay. Coming to the main topic of the session, that is... Sorry to interrupt ma'am. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, your voice is trembling. Sorry? Uh, ma'am, your voice is not very clear. Uh, okay, uh, is it better now? Uh, yeah, ma'am, right now it is audible. Okay, okay, so just interrupt me whenever it is not audible. Okay. So, uh, yeah, talking about, you know, what is, what are the emerging trends in intellectual property? What are the trends that are seen in the, you know, uh, in the past decade and what is expected in the next decade out of intellectual property and in which direction it is going. Okay, so they are around, you know, uh, these uh, three main forces at work. The pharma industry, the climate change and digitization. Okay, we have often, you know, uh, whenever you see in the news, the news revolve around these three things and intellectual property. So, uh, uh, I'll just, uh, you know, go one by one into these uh, sectors and we'll see where uh, we stand out. Okay. Talking about the pharma industry, 
the most recent example is of that of the covid situation okay as soon as the covid uh, started spreading uh, uh, you know 2 years back the scientists were able to find a solution in terms of vaccine in you know just like one year or one year two months three months duration why because Well, after the Second World War, whenever, uh, whenever the you know when, at that time the drug industry grew, okay. So what happened was everything was started keeping the record in the digitized form. So पहले drug क्या काम करता है इस चीज का data आपके पास digital data में already available है. And this started with the this is how intellectual property is getting related to this. Okay, so now try to understand this. After the Second World War, when the pharma industry started growing, they started making their records in digital form. When the records were being made in the digital form, okay, now when COVID situation uh, struck the world, the data of everything before was already present with us. The vaccine came up really, really fast. And the question comes that. is the covid vaccine you know uh, uh, is uh, patented in india so again as uh, i spoke about just about that balance so till date it has not been uh, you know uh, patented in india because there is a certain timeline that we follow first thing is that uh, the time uh, the timeline that we follow for filing of the patent uh, for uh, you know the examination of patent has not crossed for these vaccines secondly right now it is uh, uh, a disaster situation so uh, you know patent is uh, uh, the patent has not been considered giving to these vaccines till date because you know the public welfare uh, paramount this uh, patent fight so in some cases like you must have heard about lot of cases be the novartis case in the pharma industry uh, where we talk about therapeutic efficacy so in all these cases uh the priority is given to the public at large so when you talk about india is a developing nation we cannot make the vaccines very expensive because then the common man will not be able to afford it at all so uh, but uh, when you look at the other hand uh, the digital uh, technologies were at a boom during this covid pandemic period how many of you you know have consulted online Uh, to a doctor before covid i think uh, uh, has anybody consulted the doctor uh, through video conference prior to covid uh, you know uh, 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 prior to covid situation i don't think uh, there would be many people who have done so but during the covid time when we were all you know bounded to our homes for our small problems Okay, we used to consult through video conferencing to the doctor. Okay, we used home sample kits. So this is how the technology is growing. This is an area you need to focus for, you know, uh, in the future, until about the intellectual property. So what happens now? Even you know, in fact, there is a report by McKinsey that says that you know uh, the bio pharma industry may do digital transformation here. वो दस महीने कोविड का जो था उसमें इतना ज्यादा हुआ कि उसके पहले के दस साल में उतना नहीं हुआ सो दिस इज हाउ वन पैंडमिक सिचुएशन हैज कम अक्रॉस टू टेल अस दैट हाउ एंड व्हाई इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी इज गेनिंग प्रोमिनेंस इन द नियर फ्यूचर नाउ यू टॉक अबाउट यू नो द सर्जरीज द लॉट ऑफ सर्जरीज दैट हैविंग यू नो दैट आर बीइंग कैरिड ऑन बाय द रोबोटिक आर्म the image processing for diagnosis now for lot of diseases be cancer okay with the help of image processing you are able to know okay where the tumor lies so this this image processing is what is a patented subject matter that is the intellectual property so this is a new trend that we are leading towards in the pharma industry this is how uh, even uh, like for you to understand one simple example is now all most of the labs 
they are giving their reports the blood reports and other reports in term uh, you know in their application in the mobile app everything is online now okay the doctor the specialization through, through which college they have passed your blood report everything is organized in online mode even you know many countries like switzerland they have completely transformed their healthcare into online mode with all the data whether you have gone to hospital a or hospital b you can view their reports so this is where the india uh, india is going forward where you will have a unified system of medical care so that is a hint to you all that in which direction you can think about innovation this is where india is going on so in this direction you can think about innovation coming to the next sector that is climate change so every time you know we are coming across uh, you know the paris this agreement of 2015 where uh, the countries were bounded to maintain temperature below 2 degrees celsius by the end of the century and everything in all the commitments of that so the government is incentivizing to work technologies that are environment friendly electric vehicles that you see on the road they are incentivized there's a lot of tax rebate and subsidy even in you know making of those parts of the electronic vehicles given to the companies so that is one sector that you can explore for innovation the climate friendly technology okay the the solar panels the <coughs> the solar energy okay so these are certain areas where you can focus uh, the climate change we can focus in sectors of energy transportation construction where you know these are the areas where uh, the pollution and uh, the uh, you know the carbon dioxide that is coming out of these areas impact the environment negatively so if you from a uh, you know uh, innovate something that is related to low carbon technology go ahead and find a patent for it okay if you if you you know make a design for a new type of electronic vehicle go ahead and file for a design intellectual property on it okay the uh, hardware of it can be you know pet, uh, can uh, you can get a patent on it so uh, we the wind, uh, wind turbines solar energy as i have already said okay even the government they is giving a lot of subsidy in uh, research and development in these fields as well as you know uh, for you you can you know think about innovation in this aim okay moving on uh, about what is now the third sector the most important sector that is digital revolution okay the 21st century is all about digital technology okay now uh, everything is on you your phone has become smart even if the human being has not become smart but the phone has become smart okay you uh, uh, from the computer systems this is a bada wala screen hota tha jiska you have come to that map book the tin laptop so this is what the digital revolution has been okay so uh, in digital revolution according to wipo that is uh, world intellectual property organization that deals with intellectual, uh, intellectual property matters uh, they it's a prestigious institute so uh, prestigious a prestigious organization so they have in their report mentioned five fast growing digital technologies this is a hint for you all that think in these the uh, direction these are the new trends that are coming up the first one is the artificial intelligence i'm sure like everyone must be aware aware about this you know artificial intelligence concept okay where you can interact machines okay uh, you can ask the robot to do some kind of work for you if you can in this case you can throw an error message managing of the supply chain okay these are all the areas where you can focus 
uh, about uh, you know innovation in these area these are the recent trends that are coming up the second one is a cloud computing the concept is pay as you go you don't need to buy everything agar aapko koi application banani hai to pehle din se hi aapko database ke liye paise nahi dene database jab ban jayega do mahine baad tab uske paise dena shuru kariye okay so that is cloud computing there are lot of cloud computing set up there like amazon web services so in areas mein cloud computing wale area mein you can you know if you come up with some innovation you can go for filing of patent you can go for filing of copyrights for that code okay the third thing is big data 